on Collegy TV at ASCO 2015. I'm Thomas Baldrick, joined now by Dr. Miletius Demopoulos from the University of Athens. He is here to talk about the Phase Three study, Endeavor. Thank you, sir, for stopping by. Thank you very much. So um, tell us about this study and why you decided to do it. Yes, this is a large multi-center trial uh, which uh, was uh, sponsored by Onyx and uh, it compared uh, in the relapsed uh, setting of multiple myeloma two regimens, the standard of care which is a combination of bortezomib with dexamethasone and the investigational arm consisted of uh, calfizomib with dexamethasone. So the idea was to have a head-to-head -head comparison of two proteasome inhibitors and to see uh, whether uh, calfizomib and dexamethasone might be more effective than uh, bortezomib and dexamethasone in this uh, setting of uh, milk myeloma. What methods are you using in conducting the study? Yeah, this uh, study included a large number of patients, more than 900 uh, patients, uh, and the primary endpoint was a progression-free survival, with secondary endpoints being response rate, overall survival, efficacy, and uh, quality of life. What are highlights of the data you've achieved? Yeah, the main uh, data was a significant improvement of PFS in favor of calfizomib and dexamethasone with a hazard ratio of 0.5 and a median PFS uh, increase from nine months uh, with bortezomib and dexamethasone to 18 months uh, with calfizomib and dexamethasone. Furthermore, there was a higher response rate uh, in patients treated with uh, calfizomib and uh, dexamethasone, whereas uh, toxicity was essentially uh, similar in the two group of patients. Based on these findings that you've gotten, um, what's next on the horizon? First of all, I believe uh, with this data and with a, a prior uh, study called ASPIRE, which included uh, a comparison of uh, calfizomib, lenalidomide and dexamethasone versus lenalidomide and dexamethasone. Calfizomib will uh, grant it, uh, be granted approval uh, in the European Union in the treatment of relapsed myeloma. We know that this drug is approved uh, in the United States for the treatment of patients with relapsed refractory disease, but we believe that with these two studies uh, uh, the approval will include patients with earlier phases of the disease. Uh, also, there are ongoing trials that evaluate calfizomib in the frontline setting of multi myeloma, and I believe that the calfizomib is a very potent proteasome inhibitor uh, uh, which uh, uh, is increasing the depth of response and prolonging PFS and eventually the survival of myeloma patients. Very good, doctor. We thank you for your time. Thank we you wish very you much. continued success. Thank you.